Hey there, this is Lucius LaFramboise. I am a software sales and development engineer here at ENG Suite. And here's another video in our QE Suite function series. So in the most pre in the previous video, we looked at the Anderson Darling test. So that's a goodness of fit test for different distributions with your data. But let's say, yeah, that's great. We we can do the Anderson Darling, but what are the actual parameters of the predicted of of the the best fit of the data with that distribution. Well, that's where maximum likelihood comes in. QE.maximum likelihood estimates the parameters of the specific distribution using maximum likelihood estimation. So maximum likelihood estimation is a technique that's used in a lot of softwares and in mainly Minitab, uh, R, different statistical softwares where they're really trying to figure out um, what the best parameters for a distribution are given a, a data set, a random set of set of random variables. Okay. In this, you need your data, an optional name, just like always. Very, very important if you're generating graphs, which this one will generate the normal probability plot associated with the maximum likelihood. So that's another thing to point out is the Anderson Darling test up here generates this based on parameters you used in maximum likelihood. So maximum likelihood is actually inside of the Anderson Darling test. It's wrapped in there, hidden, and it uses that to calculate the Anderson Darling test statistic and the p-value. Okay, this is just giving you one layer deeper if you wanted to, for whatever reason, use the maximum likelihood to get the parameters yourself. Okay, so distribution, just like Anderson Darling, that's the distribution that you want to evaluate, um, get the parameters for. Its default is normal. Return as object, just like Anderson Darling, really great when you um, want to st stack your data on top of its on top of each other. Uh, hide graph will hide the graphs. In this case, since we already have all of our probability plots here, um, we are going to hide our graph because otherwise we're going to have duplicates of everything because it's going to be the exact same graph that you see with the Anderson Darling. All right, so now here we are going to do the exact same. Let's see here. Um, you know what? We're just going to have to deal with it. We're going to pull all of our distributions down, and they are not going to love me. So maybe what we'll do is just rearrange and... Missed one there. Okay, awesome. Distribution. And this is going to be interesting. So I'm just going to not return it as an object so you can see how this how this layout works. So then we'll do MLE. And we'll do equals QE dot maximum likelihood. We're going to come in here. And we are going to select all of our data. But right away, we're going to come in and do F4 f4 to make them absolute references our name we're going to again just like anderson darling name it after the distribution we are going to give it the distribution that was specified over here return as object i'm going to leave this as false so i'm just going to do that and i'm going to hide the graph all right, there we go. So we have scale and threshold. That's because the two parameter exponential takes a scale and threshold. But now if we were to use like a different one, so let's just pop that down. We have a location and scale, okay? So it's gonna automatically um, sort them based on, on the, the names of the parameters that you get, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna return it as an object, true. And that's going to make it a little easier for us, just like before. Just do that. There we go. They all worked. Then, we so these, these are the four parameters that are possible. You're going to have a location. You're going to have a scale. You're going to have a shape and a threshold. Control it all. So what we're going to do is we're going to do that. Dot, and we can we can do one that doesn't exist, and I'll show you why we're doing that in just a sec. The reason we do that is because now when we go down, 
We only have to type it in once and it'll figure out whether or not it's in there. So something you can do is use a little if statement. And if this is a little over your head, don't worry about it. If, let's do is error. So it's going to check whether that's an error or not. So hashtag field is an error. If it's true, we're just going to output nothing. If it's false, we're going to output, output B16 location. Bam. Now, it looks like there's nothing happening there. So that's just one way to, to make it make it kind of pretty. And we're going to take this, and we're just going to go over all of these. We're going to replace that there with threshold. And I'm just going to copy and paste this, make it a little easier. Threshold equals scale. Enter dot shape dot shape. Come over here, highlight them all, double click to drag it down, and there it goes. So as you can see, shape and threshold are not very common parameters. They're kind of ones that show up when you get into um, 3P and 4P distributions, okay? But there you go. There you have it. That's maximum likelihood in QE Suite. Thank you so much. Have a great day, and please do something awesome.